sharing today about Enjoy Life's new baking chocolate snack packs. They're awesome new a little individual packs of their delicious number one selling baking chocolates. You get 12 individual packs per bag. Awesome. So these are great not only for Halloween, obviously what we're talking about today, but also for um, lunches or even if you're an adult without kids and with just cats like me, you can also put them in your lunches or just have them around for a great snack. Put it in your purse. Right. Take it on the plane. To go. Travel for sure. So I think our biggest thing that we want to show too is how versatile these are. So uh, Keely is actually going to show us one of her recipes today on how to use uh, one of these individual mini um mini chips or any of the, the, the dark chocolate morsels, uh, any of these stamp packs for a actual, like an actual recipe you like to bake with, which is why she's here because she's the baking queen and I am just here because I supply the props. So we are doing cupcakes for two. So the reason why this is great, like Erica said, you can use one individual snack pack in the recipe. So it's great just pull one off the shelf and you can stick it in this recipe. Just cupcakes for two, so think about it when you just want a quick snack, so basically one for each of us. Or if your kids have like a party the next day and you don't need to bake like a dozen cupcakes, you can just do this quick and easy recipe for two. Awesome. So let's get started. In this bowl, I have a quarter cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour and one tablespoon of cocoa powder. So first we're going to put together all of our dry ingredients, so I'm going to pour that in here. And then, Erica, if you want to dump in, we also have three tablespoons of sugar. So just use, like, your regular cane sugar for that. Done. And then in here, we have a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So we'll pour that in. And we'll just mix up all of our dry ingredients. Give that a quick stir. And then we will start adding our wet ingredients. So first we're going to do three tablespoons of water. And then we also have one tablespoon of oil. You can use whatever allergen friendly oil works best for your family. We have a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Spooky. A half a teaspoon of vinegar. Yay! So this is a top eight allergen free recipe. That's also why this is awesome. So you don't have to worry about substitutions. And then this is where it gets fun. So we take our little pack of mini chips and I'm going to pour most of it in here. We're going to save some of it so that way we can add a few on the top when we ice them at the end. Because, or we can just eat them while we're sitting here because that's good too. We've got enough. We may eat a few before it cuts and then we uh, put it in the Oven. Exactly. So I'm just using about three quarters of the snack pack so we have a few to sprinkle on the top at the end. That was so yummy. Chocolate. You can't go wrong, right? So I'm just going to scoop this in the pan. So the oven has been preheating to 350 degrees, but the trick is once we pop these in here, we're actually going to drop it down to 325 and then these will bake for about about 20 to 22 minutes to obviously keep an eye on them and um, do the toothpick test to make sure that they're done. Yep. So these are about three quarters full, so we're going to pop these in the oven and like I said, drop that temperature to 325 after it's preheated to 350. And then right now we're going to see how many mini packs uh, or snack packs we can eat um, until the cupcakes are done. So we're going to pause this and through the magic of science, when we come back, these are going to be all Done. back and we actually have cupcakes. cupcakes. So these are our cupcakes for two that we made. We went ahead and put some allergen friendly icing on top and just to show you how to finish those um, you can take the rest of your mini chip bag. I'll take a few if you want some as well. 
and you can just sprinkle those right on top to add some yummy chocolate chippiness on there. And then um, if you can just let people know, they can easily make their own allergen-friendly icing at home instead of frosting. Yeah, you can. It's super simple, um, and you can go online to find the in ingredients for that or directions for that. Um, but it just is confectioner sugar and some non-dairy milk, and you can whip up an easy one. And obviously, there's some other great recipes to be found. And I'm just adding some gluten-free, nut-free sprinkles on top for a little color. And they're super fun Halloween colors, too. Absolutely. We even have witches' hats. All right, so we've got some witches' hats. Mm -hmm. And then some... For me, my favorite is going crossbones. Beware, even though you don't have to beware, because it's top eight free. Yeah. So you can stick them in there. I don't know, maybe I'll put two. Maybe I'll just go crazy and put some witch's hats in there. As many as you want. She can have the normal looking one. I'll have the witch's hat. So this is what mine looks like. Again, we're using the mini chips and the snack pack as well that you can get for Halloween. So make sure you follow... Um, hashtag snack freely um, and that's anything with any of the snack packs for the mini chips or um, the morsels as well and these are great for Halloween they're great for Halloween parties for decorating I mean look at how adorable this is just so easy again cupcake for two and make sure that you find the recipe below or on keelymcguire.com celiacandbeast.com will have it as well mm -hmm. um, we'll also be talking a lot about these for Halloween as well. Yeah, we'll each have a giveaway going, so make sure you enter on our websites. I'm gonna go ahead and taste my cupcake. I would if I didn't put so many things on top. Maybe that's my downfall. Mmm, they're so warm. They're so, so good. good! So good, you guys, and so simple. So, wishing everybody a safe and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween! <laughs> happy Halloween. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for Enjoy Life Booth for sponsoring this. Please remember to put a teal pumpkin out to indicate the fact that you have top eight free noms for the little ghouls and goblins that are stopping by. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank and have you. a happy, happy, spooky Halloween! I'll eat that. Oh no, it's in the spider web. <laughs>